And uh, the other thing is, uh, Bernie put the Rogan clip out, and a lot of people flipped out. You're going to lose it. Here's the deal. You're yeah. going to lose again. You want to lose. You fetishize being a loser, and you want to lose. You're, you're putting people through these purity tests. It's going to it's gonna bite you. Rogan is such an asset to have. And whether I, I don't even think it's fair. By the way, I would be like, it's not fair to put out a clip of someone as an official endorsement right. if they haven't officially endorsed you. I don't know that they had a conversation with Joe or not. Right. But my whole thing is like, to get angry yeah. about it is so fucking childish. And I, I mean, I, I don't know how more progressive. Because I listened to over the years a bunch of you know Rogan stuff, and like, I don't know how much more progressive he can be. They want him to cut his dick off. Yeah, I mean, they want him to transition. He could be more progressive if no, he no, cut no. his dick I, off I on more, air and yeah. became a woman. Now, of course, he could that's be what more. they're looking for. They want him to saw his <laughs> cock off and <laughs> shove it in Barry Rice's throat. And then, and then that's how he could be more progressive. Okay, <laughs> he takes his dick off and then he throws it in Barry Weiss's face and goes, "Free Palestine!" And then it would be okay to right. endorse Bernie Sanders. He's had on Abby Martin, Kyle Kuklinski, Cornell West, Bernie Sanders, David Pakman. He talked to Matt Taibbi in his three to four hour conversations about things like, you know, prison industrial complex, uh, Israel and Palestine, race inequality, all of those things. And you have you turn on CNN, they've got Richard Spencer, Stormy Daniels. Right. Uh, Rachel Maddow is fucking talking about uh, uh, Putin hiding in a closet, and then she goes, has dinner with Roger Ailes, and she probably puts on a strap on and fucks him. So let's get real. Rachel Maddow and Roger Ailes have dinner together. You, it's all fake. He has a conversation dummies. with Milo. Uh, Vice, you know, talks to fucking, uh, what was it, Cant Cantwell. Yeah. And they get a fucking Emmy for it. Right. Rachel Maddow... It, it was like close with Roger Ailes. Yeah. So it's professional. Re it does stop. And that's why people that are like online or people that get their news from these. So I love my dad, but here's what happened to my father's brain. It's been rotted because he's gotten his news from people like Chris Matthews and Chris Matthews. When the whole Epstein thing happened, Chris Matthews, who is a Irish fat blowhard. Okay who does nothing but parrot the party line of anything that's going on, loves Washington, loves powerful people, right. is the opposite of a journalist, Is it, it, it looks like a hunk of Irish soda bread, uh, is not, he's nowhere near Tim Russert, even though Tim Russert not yeah, he, perfect. He took over me to better. press, right? No, okay. no, someone else. I don't think Chris Matthews. No, Chris Matthews was always that guy in hardball. He was like, ha, right. ha. He was parodied constantly yeah, yeah. with good reason. When the whole Epstein thing happened, this was Chris Matthews' hot take, okay, by the way. By the way, not only should the Irish not be allowed to speak publicly, they should be chained at all times to, <laughs> to, to, to their physical job, okay? Chris, Chris Matthews. <laughs> Chris, no, but they just don't. Let's let's be. I'm sick of lying. Most Irish people, excluding me, <laughs> most Irish people just are not supposed to think. They're supposed to emote. They're supposed to sing. They're supposed to dance, and they're supposed to tell tales. But they're not supposed to like break it down. So this was Chris Matthews' response when the Epstein things happened. He goes, "You know, a lot of these politicians." End up take because they he goes they become friends with these nefarious characters because they don't have a lot of money, so they need to fly places because they're <laughs> politicians. They need to go to places, so they end up forming relationships with these you know nefarious characters. These dark and they don't know what's going on. They don't know how can they know? Well, they're gonna wait in the airport for ten minutes. Yeah. So Bill and Hillary Clinton can't afford right. to go anywhere. So Bill has to fly. And where do they all need to go? The Virgin Islands? Where right. are they going? They got they got they got like a million dollar speaking fee somewhere. Yeah. It, it, but again, imagine. Think of the people who got their news from that system right. for years. Because even the articles written about Epstein from the mainstream press, are like, yeah, it's a little fishy. Right. Now the flip side of that is if you go online. You know, you know, it's we we all know what online is. It's just a fucking, you know, it's it's completely no, it, it, a free for all. The guy in, in you know, goat horns, just you know, uh, <laughs> sacrificing the Baphomet. But right. it's, it's like there's no there's no moderation. There's but, no moderation. 
But it, in this case, this is the one case where they're mostly right. Yeah, but they're mostly right. <laughs> yeah, it's it, but that's the real problem. The real problem is that our parents got their news, and that's why we have the country we do. You eat poison, right. you get your news from people that literally should not be allowed to speak publicly, who are just handed talking points. Allowed to say, so you get your news from these people, you eat at Wendy's, you drink, you get prescribed all these drugs, and then at the end of everything, it's like, yeah, there's nothing left. Right. Nothing's left. It's all gone. And then you have to deal with all these massive problems, like 40% of the labor force is going to be automated. And like our parents just want to play golf and get a condo. They don't, they're like, what? Do you, what? They're like, who gives a shit? What do you mean 40% of the labor force? Good. They're like, that sounds nice. Like, you tell people that. You tell people that are older that. They go, 40% of the labor force is going to be automated. They're like, you kids have it so easy. You have no idea how lucky you are. You know, you're going to have- I hate waiting on lines in the car wash. You know, the labor force, they're just, it's, they're going to be, all, these kids are going to have automated, you know? You know, my son told me the other day, Vinny, he said 40% of the labor force is going to be robots. They're going to be sitting pretty, these kids. <laughs> they're going to be sitting pretty, these guys. I mean, can you believe how lucky they are? Well, that is in some weird way. Like, if you actually like look in the marks, I'm not saying I've read all of Das Kapital, but, you know- Ray is- Become a fat Marxist. I'm not. <laughs> which is somehow, uh, uh, living in Brooklyn, is somehow his journey to become like this fat. He went from a fat libertarian to a fat Marxist. Because there's two places you can go from libertarian. You stay fat. But you go to either Marx or you go to Nazi. But you stay at you're, a, uh, you're more of a Marxist than I am. I, I argue because I'm sexy. I argue if we can afford healthcare and if we can afford universal healthcare. You go, we just gotta do it. Fuck it. I, I, I'm not a Marxist. I just don't care what happens. Yeah, that's a different thing. I'm saying, I look. I, I have no investment in literally what happens. Whatever. I am not a Marxist. You should read a little Marx. You know what you're talking. If you want to oppose him, point is a bit. The idea of it is Ray that Ray has Das Kapital balanced on his stomach in a public bus in Brooklyn, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> "There's a woman sitting next to him, just nursing her baby." And you're like, "Listen, that's okay. You can let it out. We're all human beings here. You can let it out, baby. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know why you're in the position you're in. <laughs> this man wrote a whole book on it. You see what happened with capitals." Uh, all I'm, look, there, there is some part of it where it's like we're supposed to get to a point where we can all just like relax and achieve higher consciousness. Mullen told me about this. It's like fully automated luxury communism, which Mullen was telling me. He was saying it was a joke. It made me laugh where just everyone fucks all day and right. money's fake. I don't know. So, some idiot. Money's already fake. Some idiot will message me and be like, it's actually. Yo, Marx is really smart. Yeah, we Ray's yeah, girlfriend's going to Canvas with Bernie Sanders and fucking, where's she going? Uh, I think New Hampshire. We're gonna go. We want to film ourselves canvassing for Bernie Sanders in Beverly Hills. Yeah, just standing outside gates and screaming. <laughs> Have you thought about? Yeah, give him back a little bit. Have you thought? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Have you heard Bernie Sanders? <laughs> He's also Jewish. <laughs> Don't you have enough? Don't you? 